Sit down with me real quick. Let's talk to the fathers really quick. First and foremost, my name is Maurice. Here, I encourage fathers and just in the areas of faith and finance and whatever we can do to empower you. It's been a while since I've recorded some videos. If you've been following the ministry, Image Inc. online, you've been knowing that we've been dropping Bible studies and teachings, but in my recent years, I've discovered that there's not a lot of resources for fathers. And I uncovered that there's a, what I call a mandemic, a mandemic that is happening right now, like a pandemic, but it's affecting men, it's affecting fathers. And I'm talking about mental health. The mental health pandemic is sweeping the, what we are finding through social media and social media is creating an avenue for more fathers, for more men to voice their views on the word and the world and kind of be more open in who they are, right? And then there's this caveat that's happening right now where men are being more open, but in that there's this now call to action for accountability for the people in our lives, right? And so what there's been this thing of men suffering in silence and then from those suffering in silence, they're now saying, hey, we've been suffering in silence, but now that I see other guys have been dealing with the same mental struggles I've been dealing with, I want to talk about it. And so now we're seeing more men saying, hey, this, this is what the, the guys deal with on regular mentally. And so now there's this double standard where you see a support group for guys saying, hey, here's a space for you guys to talk about your problems, share how you feel, and be open. But then there's that other side where they're like, oh, this man is soft, this man is insecure, this, 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 all these neg negativity that is facing men, which is causing them to go and resort back to their old way of thinking of, hey, if I'm struggling mentally, I'm just going to go ahead and keep it to myself because it's going to get thrown back at me. People have talked about, I've seen the whole toxic max masculinity thing is that guys who just keep it a hundred, they do it in a negative way in the eyes of some or some that are just straightforward are not liked by others because they're so straightforward in their view and their thoughts, right? And then you have the men that like say, hey, this is what I go through on a regular basis. And then you have the women that hold no accountability. The man says, hey, I'm dealing with this thing. And the woman was like, oh, that's what you think. And there's viral videos supporting this um, a lot. But that's why I'm calling it a pandemic because clearly there's a problem. The problem is that men, mostly African-American men like myself, are trying to find a space where they can talk about their thoughts, talk about their feelings, talk about their actions without being uh, judged. They want the same respect that everyone else gets. And if you really look at it, I feel like Black men as a majority are the main ones that got to keep things to themselves. Like most other cultures and communities, they come together uh, as a community, right? And build each other up. And then you have feel the African-American culture that everyone, for the most part, is for themselves, right? If you look at other races, you look at other cultures, as a majority, they support one another. Like they, they, they collaborate, they fellowship, they commune with other cultures. But our culture, I'll say vastly, goes after our own. And so then the ones that try to support each other are considered like sellouts, considered oh, all kinds of stuff. So it's hard for us to build each other up because we don't allow each, the ones that made it get, get ridiculed, get talked about, get put down. So it's, hey, I'm trying to reach back and help because I overcame, I made it through. And, and it's hard to find that uh, commonality, that communion for us to build each other up, especially for men. It's, and you don't want to talk about, hey, here's a safe space for men to talk and be vulnerable because then, you know, they're going to sound soft. They're going to sound like they're insecure when you throw that terminology out there, but it's needed. I'm one that's going to say, hey, I've been through some things in my life and I'm not afraid to talk about what I've been through because things I've been through can help somebody else, right? I'm standing here today because God has been good to me. God has got me through, but some are struggling. They don't have a wife that prays for them. They don't have a family that looks out for them. Um, 
church that supports them, fellowship with people that they care about them. A lot of people don't, don't are fortunate to have that or don't they don't know where to find that or it's used against them and it makes the situation worse. And so like even me personally, like I know there's certain things that I deal with on my own because I know how to work through with God. But then there are things that I share with others that I get help from to help me through it, talk it out and, and, and walk through it. But a lot of men, they don't get that. And men are supposed to be tough, right? Men are supposed to not have emotions. Men are supposed to not, they're not supposed to have feelings, right? And so then we're in this place now where families are broken. The marriage industry is destroyed. Our community, our culture is suffering all because this is my personal belief that men were never given the opportunity to be fully comfortable being themselves. And I mean that in the sense of saying like, when they deal with things, they got to deal it with it on their own. And sometimes it doesn't work out. So it ends up showing up in different ways, showing up in abuse, showing up in alcoholism, showing up in alternative lifestyles, showing up in, in just all these problems or relationships, problems with like society. A lot of it can be stemmed you know, from the pandemic, from men not, from men responding to the world or being reactive to the world instead of being proactive because they're not, uh, there's not a space for them to be proactive. And so they're just responding to the world, right? And so in that, we have a world where it's like a constant battle. They're like, what's going on with the men in the world today? Like the men are supposed to be the providers, supposed to be the protectors, supposed to do this, supposed to do that, right? But then when they try to be better, they try to change. For the most part, they don't get the support that they need. And then, but on the other side of things, most men can figure it out for themselves. And so those are the ones that, that are setting the example. But even in that, the ones that are setting the example, the ones that are leading the charge, the ones that are making a difference, they're not posting it. They're not giving their rem. They're just living their life and affecting other and affecting others. They're not, you know, you don't see it too much of them like say, hey, this is my journey, how we got there. This is how I overcame. This is how I made it through. We're not seeing that on a grand scale. And so I guess my question, my thought is, where do we go from here?